Assalamu alaikum all. Uh, today we are going to discuss about digital electronics MCQs. The first one is in the toggle mode, a JK flip flop has. So here we have to understand the mode of the MCQs. It's asking about JK flip flop, not the all flip flop. So uh, we must have known the JK flip flop and uh, to stable for this. Uh, you can see here it's written same as for the SRH. So SRH and JK flip flop are almost the same as. And JK flip flop is basically a gated SR flip flop with the addition of a clock input circuitry. Uh, so here, looking at the MCQs again in the toggle mode, JK flip flop has. So just look at here in the truth table. This is a toggle mode. So toggle mode it is uh, one and one. Three. When the both inputs are the one, it is in the uh, toggle mode. And uh, looking at the other options, when J is equal to zero, K is equal to zero, it will be. Uh, no memory change like uh, it will be in the same state and when j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 1 so it is actually the reset condition means when input is 1 output will be uh, 0 and uh, when j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0 so this is actually the uh, set condition means when input is 0 output will be 1 or input is 1 output will be 0 so these both are the set and reset condition this is actually the toggle condition and this is the no memory chain condition okay and uh, now moving to the other mcq a three state buffer has the following output states uh, 1 0 and float high low float and both a and b set reset halt so here uh, we have the all four options so basically the three states are 1, 0 and float and high and low is also same thing in the option B so here the answer will be option C because a three state buffer was enabled output is high and is low when disabled enables is high disables in low and neither of these conditions then it will be in the uh, float condition this one moving next and which of the following is a digital device so light switch is a digital device this is a very simple MCQ simply light switch has two uh, states of off and on and no other uh, state if a hexadecimal number needs to convert to binary for each hexadecimal digit there will be how many bits so uh, we know then when we convert the hexadecimal we need four bits like f in hexadecimal is equal to 1111 in uh, binary Number five, temperature variation. It's a uh, clearly analog quantity because it's uh, continuous over the time. A temperature variation is continuous over time, and all the other parameters like this uh, flow, uh, like pressures, and uh, these are the analog and the continuous over time. In the digital logic design, call is abbreviated as GAL. So it's abbreviated as the generic array logic. Uh, it is a basically reprogrammable device used in the digital uh, system and moving next in a decimal number system what is MST MST basically stands for the most significant digit and is the first digit from left to right and the A is a right answer and it is the highest fetish out of all and it can also represent the signed or unsigned uh, number and uh, after that stake uh, stake is also known as uh, so here the right answer is C LIFO. So the stake is basically a type of memory based on lost in first out. Uh, data store lost will be read first. And then number nine is in Boolean algebra A into A is equal to so basically it is equal to a let's take an example uh, one into one is equal to one and zero into zero is equal to zero so A into A is equal to A. It's that simple. And after that number 10 end operation is equivalent to so logic logical end operation means a and p So it's basically equal to the intersection and it results in one if and only if all the inputs are uh, one and Logical or operation is equivalent to so simply r is equivalent to the uh, union and it results in one if at least one input is uh, one and moving next uh, LSI means so LSI means a uh, large scale integration and the abstraction level of the integrated circuits are characterized as like small scale integration uh, medium scale integration MSI large scale integration LSI and very large scale integration VLSI that is uh, currently used in uh, most of the circuit designs the truth table is used to express 
a options are given so the right answer is the boolean expression is used uh, to stable used to express the boolean expression and complement of nor and or gate so complement is simply adding a not gate to a circuit so option c is the right answer and the last one is the convert the binary number given to the hexadecimal number so first of all we will convert the most significant bit so 1111 is equal to f so here only option b has f in the most significant digit so option b is the right answer and uh, here is the end of our uh, today's video i hope you like this and uh, thank you all of us all of you take care and have a good preparation of the ntc and nescom and other tests so far and thank you